from here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. Remember, we're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. I know, I know. So this is the isle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Ham. The geysers lie deep inland, however. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, he has been to Charliot. He has. Kono's my second older brother, and until recently he was a student in this city. He went on and on about technological amusements. He made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studio. He went to the studio? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. The researchers should be just ahead. There, the building to the northeast. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that think to try me. Right, let's hunt our kill. Someone's in trouble. Yeah, taste my axe. These animals are usually so tough.
are famous. And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. this Marks. I've seen their like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. or the prey. So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? You presume it's even safe to eat? Fresh. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. Wings and razor sharp talons. <laughs> Worthy prey. It's heading towards the falls. 
I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Come, Wuklamat! Right! Clear. I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. Caught me by surprise! Caught me by surprise! <laughs> <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit!
Nothing to it. We have you now, you love love bastard! For everything you have at it. And I had barely limbered up. <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. O only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. But what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. Dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? <laughs> Aye, dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have... easily... Leave this to me! Terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. So this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. <gasps> that was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind, again and again. That's what inspired this change. 
Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. As you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, Pictomancy. As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. What I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. <laughs> Indeed. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the Ritual of Succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf, and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A... Uh, Galul, someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, the Don servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Servant himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Given how culturally diverse Toliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so perhaps he simply dictated it. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yolal. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, Learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating... that.
Come, let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Mm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. What is this? It smells... spicy. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Charlian. manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I thick as thieves since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit. 
and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons, but this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Dawn Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tulihualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. Oh, and one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? 